I'm Wesley Smith. I drive the CarQuest Auto Parts All Metal Recycling Home Racing Number 44 Sprint Car. The goal this weekend, uh, the two goals this weekend, were to break the all-time win record with Power Eye War Sprint Cars, which I'm currently tied for with Corey Wyant. And uh, the second goal was to win my first, my second, not my first, my second Jesse Hockett Daniel McMillan uh, Memorial Trophy. Fans and welcome to Championship Night of the 14th Annual Jesse Hockett Daniel McMillan Memorial, hosted right here at the Diamond of the Dirt Tracks, Lucas Oil Speedway, featuring the Power I 410 Outwall Sprint League, as well as the Weightless Auto Racing Sprint League. Anymore. We normally don't race on uh, Thursday nights. We usually race on Friday nights. This year we decided to uh, switch to Thursday night, and I think it was a good choice. The track was uh, the track was really good Thursday. It was really uh, nice and wide, and the, the cushion was razor thin, and uh, it was still super fast. Like it's just hard to replicate. It's hard to see from the stands just how fast we were going and how close we were to just uh, you know people say inches from disaster. And well, I think when they say that, they, they mean it. You know, that's exactly what we were. The format at uh, the Jesse Hawkett Daniel McMillan uh, Memorial here at Lucas Oil Speedway is always a little different than we, us than we usually run. We get to group qualify, which I always like qualifying, and we uh, went quick time in our group, third overall in the night, but quick time in our group, and they split us up into heat races, so uh, that put me starting uh, fourth in my heat race uh, with uh, Jack Wagner, who drives the Jesse Hawkett Racing number 77, so, uh, you know, his goal is always to win this race, too, and he's a great competitor. And, uh, it came down to uh, the last corner in a heat race, and uh, we picked him off on the top at the last second. And l uh, luckily enough for us, that put us on the pole. We had enough points to start on the pole. And uh, you know, going into the feature, I was feeling really good, feeling like my old self here at Lucas Oil, and uh, I was I was really comfortable going into that feature. We we took off on the feature and led the first 10 laps really comfortably. And I was feeling really good and I was, I was, I was really confident. And I don't wanna say I was getting cocky, but I was definitely feeling really good about uh, how the car felt and how I felt uh, going around the track. And the track was just, the more it came in, the more it was my style, you know, uh, nice and wide and inches from, you know, the rate, like I said earlier, the razor thin cushion and, and uh, it was just really suiting my style. The car was just getting faster and faster. The setup was really coming in. The tires were heating up and everything was going really well. And I knew uh, Ricky Lewis was going to be fast. He started uh, right behind me, I believe, in the feature. And about lap 10 or 12, he, uh, he uh, started throwing the sliders. And uh, they were coming one after the other. And we were, we were cutting them under him uh, pretty good for a couple of laps. And then uh, I, I, I think his plan, I don't know exactly what he was thinking, but I think his plan was to get in front and control the race. Um, that's kind of how I see some of these things is if I can be out front, you know, they call it the motorcycle race and get the full shot. Uh, this is a little bit different, but uh, if you can be out front, you can kind of set the pace and you can control the race a lot better, you know. Um, and he got there. He got in front of me, and, and, and my kind of goal after that was to adjust the car a little bit. We can adjust our shocks during the race, so I started working on those a little bit, and he did exactly what he had to do. He stuffed me in the, uh, the slick stuff on the start, and, um, you know, I saw it coming, uh, uh, but uh, I fell back to fourth on that restart on, going into turn one, and uh, it took me two laps to get back up to second, and I knew my changes I made on my shocks were really good because uh, I, I picked a couple of guys off really fast, and they, didn't, they, didn't, they couldn't get back under me into the next corner, so I really didn't have to waste another corner of the track playing defense, and I started reeling Ricky back in. With about seven or eight laps to go, uh, Ricky was catching lap traffic and we were cutting into his lead pretty good. And uh, whether that be because I'd found the, the shock setup that I wanted, the nice balance on the car that I was looking for, or, or maybe, uh, you know, I don't think Ricky's one to uh, shy away from going as fast as he possibly can. Uh, and uh, he caught some lap traffic and, and it, it worked out where we had just caught him. I was in, I was in distance to, to make a move on him. And, he got, uh, he, he came up on this lap car really fast and I think it kind of surprised all three of us, the lap car, Ricky and me and myself. Uh, and Ricky got kind of sideways going down the straightaway and broke his momentum really well. So I dove to the bottom to make the move and probably, you know, I ran a really good fast race. I probably didn't run the, the smartest race I should have. 
and uh, I ended up spun out on the bottom of turn one. And the, it was so late in the race, I knew I wasn't going to be able to slice back to the field like I needed to, especially because it's a it's a uh, cumulative points event. So I, I, I kept it going. Luckily, I did a did a 360 and kept it going. The caution didn't come out or nothing, so that was great. And uh, ended up finishing fifth. And uh, you know, at the end of that race, you just you're so dejected. It just uh, you know, we were so fast in hot laps and qualifying, and then in the heat race, we were the only guy to go uh, fourth to first in the heat race and get maximum points going into uh, the feature. And effectively, if I could have won the feature, I would have been locked in and starting on the pole of the championship feature on Saturday, which would have been uh, it just makes my job so much easier. And uh, like I said, I just I've never. Very rarely do you feel so comfortable in a race car on such a, a quote unquote treacherous track. Not that the track was bad, it was just really good for uh, the guys. It was really good for the guys who wanted to go very fast uh, to show off how comfortable they are on the car. And, that, and I felt like we were doing really good. Um, but then, you know, to finish fifth and you're battling for the lead the whole race and you, you, you started off leading the race very comfortably. And uh, to finish fifth, it just kind of puts a it's hard to go to sleep that night, uh, content. I think, uh, I think the road to a second Jesse Hockett Daniel McMillan trophy is, is uh, pre-paved for me, and I think I just gotta come through and finish the job, and I think, uh, I think we got the momentum and we're feeling good enough, even though uh, we're not starting near as good as we want to, we're not starting near as bad as we could have. So uh, I think going into uh, Saturday night, we're gonna, we're gonna be uh, in very good shape and hopefully put on a show.